the your body feels comfortable. The chair feels so restful. What have you said? Relax, relax, relax. First relax. You feel so comfortable. The chair feels so restful. That all implies a state of physical relaxation. And your willingness to discover all the different ways in which you can repeat without saying precisely the same word. And it gives you an awareness of how to present ideas acceptably. Maybe the patient happens to suffer from muscular rheumatism and so over the years has learned to hate that word muscle. Therefore you don't say relax your muscles because he knows from bitter experience that muscles are tense and not relaxed. Now, therefore, you do not say relax your muscles. You appreciate your patient situation. And you can ask him, uh, do you think that you can find this chair comfortable? Well, if you find the chair comfortable, how are you sitting in the chair? Not in a tense and rigid fashion. You're sitting there in a relaxed fashion. Do you find this chair comfortable? And he starts thinking not about his muscles, but about the chair. And it does have a nice arm on the right side, a nice arm on the left side. The cushion is very soft, and the back of the chair has the right slope, and it does fit his back. And so he finds the chair very comfortable to his body. In other words, his body is comfortable. His muscles are relaxed, and you haven't uttered those unpleasant words. Relax your muscles. You see, you need to be repetitious, but be repetitious not of just words, but of ideas and understanding. Because you've got to base your use of hypnosis upon your understanding to the patient and his problem, and the patient's understanding of the ideas and teachings you want to give him. Now that's the thing that makes my uh, lecture so confusing to the audience. When I start talking to a patient, I usually talk to him in such a fashion that I get his attention and I get central vision and he pays his full attention to me and that's the hypnotic technique that I use. And I don't care whether it's a psychotherapeutic problem or a woman who wants to learn hypnosis for her delivery with her obstetrician or someone who comes to me who is going to have a dental extraction and he wants oral anesthesia and his dentist doesn't use it or someone who's going to have uh, some uh, minor painful surgical procedure. I talk to them, I present ideas to them so that they can achieve that particular goal. Does that answer you, sir? And I talk to them in such a fashion that they're very likely to go into at least a light press, perhaps a medium press, even a deep press. 
and I explain the situation and I teach them the thing they need to know. And I think that all of you ought to be willing to give your attention to your patient so thoroughly that you command all of his attention. And thus you will elicit transfers uh, very nicely. I've encountered a good many taken uh, seminars on hypnosis and discovered.